Hey everybody, welcome back to Cinematic Elite, the series dedicated to me talking about movies that I may have missed for whatever reason. Today we are talking about a different one, <laughs> for lack of a better phrase. Uh, today we're talking about the Lego Star Wars Holiday Special, which is currently available on Disney+. Plus. Now obviously this is a Lego movie or Lego inspired characters uh, of all of the characters from Star Wars that you know and love. So it's not necessarily in continuity by any means. I mean, it's Lego for crying out loud, but Lego it has been fairly well known for adapting various franchises such as Harry Potter into a, like a video game or anything like that and being actually very faithful to the point where it even can be considered canon. Now this one will definitely not do that based on what happens here as it kind of fits in no continuity. And that's point number one here. Uh, it doesn't fit anywhere. It's literally just meant to be a fun Lego themed Star Wars holiday special. Literally it's the title. Like it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with continuity, doesn't add anything to the story other than a special Christmas-like holiday to the galactic world that we know of Star Wars and just sort of giving it a purpose that seems kind of fun, but after a little while it gets a little bit old. And to be quite honest with you, that's not saying a whole lot considering that the runtime of this movie is only about 45 minutes. So the fact that it feels long at 45 minutes I mean, I think you get it. It just tries to give you this message. It tries to be funny where funny moments don't necessarily fit in. It tries to Lego itself um, into very similar like what Batman did and a couple of other ones which worked. But this one, it just it kind of fell flat for me. I don't know, but there were certain aspects of it that worked-ish, but it just, I don't know, it just left a very bad taste in my mouth and made me crave good Star Wars. But on the other hand, and this is going to be point number two, is that it's kind of fun seeing these characters as Legos in a weird way. Like, it gives a little bit more flexibility, allows for those humorous moments, even though some of them aren't quite funny, uh, to be introduced to the world. But because it does try and interject some of those more, what I will guess I'll call Lego-isms, it just sort of feels like it's, it loses its magic a little bit for the world of Star Wars because it does try to Legoize itself to the point where it's almost unrecognizable. But it's still fun, the flexibility and things that they're able to do, such as going into sort of different times and being able to interact with characters that they never interacted with before. For example, Rey interacts with not only young Luke, but also Return of the Jedi Luke, not necessarily just the older Luke that she gets to know later in the series. So that part was actually kind of fun, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed how Kylo Ren got to sort of see Emperor Palpatine and Darth Vader in their more prime time, not necessarily just a skull or a mask helmet on like a bed of ashes. It just sort of interjects a little bit more fun to the franchise that sometimes, especially with the prequels and even the sequel trilogy, kind of actually the whole thing, it just never really gets there. But this one definitely did interject a little bit of fun to the franchise. But then piggybacking off of that, we have point number three, that it has so much fun with it sometimes and takes so much liberties that it just deflates the franchise. Uh, there are certain things that happen and it doesn't make sense, like I said before, in any continuity. It doesn't fit between The Last Jedi or The Rise of Skywalker. It doesn't fit even after The Rise of Skywalker. Some of the things that happen in this, if you're looking for some type of continuity again, it's, it's not there. It doesn't exist. This is purely for fun's sake and it definitely works for kids who love Legos, who love Star Wars. It hits that demographic right on the head, but if you're a fan of just Legos, maybe you'll like it. If you're a fan of Star Wars, you most likely won't like it, but you'll still most likely watch it if you're a Star Wars fan because Star Wars fans like to consume every bit of it to the point where they hate it, I guess is the best way to put it. And I'm a pretty big Star Wars fan, but I'm not the biggest, but I feel like this one kind of ruins the sequel trilogy, at least the parts that I liked about it. But it just deflated the deeper meaning of the Jedi, of some of the abilities that they have, of the stakes that were in the previous movies. It takes all of that away just for the sake of a joke. It makes Palpatine this sort of hungry character and Darth, Darth Vader sort of a desperate character for Palpatine's attention and it takes away all of the deeper meanings, everything of the Force, of the Jedis, of the Sith. It, it's just deflated and flat. It kind of feels like it 
means even less than nothing. Which is super disappointing because this is supposed to be a fun movie. So if you want to take it seriously, you're probably not going to enjoy it. But if you just want to have fun around the holidays and you maybe have some little kids who want something to watch, it works. I feel like this was a super negative review of a Lego movie uh, or of a kid's movie that it's only 45 minutes, but I digress. Those are pretty much my thoughts on the Lego Star Wars Holiday Special now on Disney+. Plus. You can stream it if you do want to, if you have seen it or watch it after this video. Um, let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. Did you like it? Do you think it worked at all to any degree? I didn't, but that's just me. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go watch some good Star Wars, like maybe The Mandalorian or something. But uh, make sure you hit the like button if you did like this video, as well as subscribe, as I do have a new cinematic update every single Thursday, as well as go live on Sundays at 7 p.m. This upcoming Sunday, though, we'll have a very special live stream where we'll be doing a live watch party for our 300 subscribers that we finally achieved. Yay, us on this channel. And all thank you to all of you who subscribed. Uh, but we're doing a live watch party of Die Hard. So if you want to come by, check it out, hang out for a little while. If you want to stay during the whole thing, awesome. If not, no big deal. But I would love to see you there and hang out for a little while. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.